All right, so I've got this spring hanging from a metal shelf here, and I've taped up a ruler to a box laid behind it. And I want you to see that I've gotten the ruler lined up as closely as I can uh, to the top of the spring. Now, depending on exactly where I have the camera, it looks a little bit out of alignment. But if I'm looking at the spring pretty much right aligned with the top, it's very close to the zero on the ruler. Right now, there's nothing hanging from the spring. Here's where the bottom is. I'm a little bit below it now, and you can tell I'm a little below because you can see this like black oval is the darkness inside it. So that's a, this is a pretty good angle for being lined up with the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is hang different weights. So I'm going to start with this teeny tiny one. This reads 10, so this is 10 grams. And if I put the 10 grams on the spring, doesn't really seem to have done anything. So 10 grams isn't enough to make a difference. Next one, 20 grams. This time I can tell that the spring did stretch slightly. Very, very small difference. But I'll try to get lined up with the bottom for you. So that looks pretty good. So you could take a measurement there if you want. And I'm going to switch. The next mass is 50 grams. So it's definitely stretched out noticeably this time. Next, actually, I'm going to put the 50 back. One of the nice things about these hooked masses is that they can connect to each other. So I'm going to hang the 20 grams off of the 50 grams. So that's a total of 70. Here's the bottom of the spring. Next, it's probably a hundred. Yep. And then I'm going to hang the fifty off of there to give us a total of one fifty. Do one more. I'll go the whole way up to 200, but I don't want to go much beyond 200 or any beyond 200 because uh, the spring is getting stretched out pretty far now. It's already a few times uh, what its original length was, and I don't want to damage it. Here's the bottom. And when the weight is taken off, it goes back to its normal length.